Hey, welcome along to episode 16 of Nitro Next with me, Tom Deacon. Glad to have you back on another show where we get into all of the esports racing goodness. And there's lots of goodness in today's show. Um, every single episode, we bring you a brand new guest. Today is no different. We bring you FDA Hoopla Esports Ferrari racer and driver, Mr. Enzo Benito. He's going to be on the show in a little bit. But before then, we need to get down to the serious stuff for the newsflash. Now, I couldn't possibly do it all by myself. So I've Welcome the main man, the magician, the producer, the editor, Yannick Huska, into the building to help me with the news flash. When I said you're into the building, you're in your house uh, and I'm in mine. So we've got a safe distance. Of course. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah uh, definitely. I think London, Berlin is enough distance to not catch the virus. I'm confident. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, listen, Yannick, uh, where should we start with the news flash today? How about we start with the best name that esports racing has to offer phonetically and also kind of the lineup, and that is the Porsche Tag Heuer Esports Super Cup. Yeah, great place to start. 40 of the best drivers going head to head. And listen, uh, it was taking place on the circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya, and Max Benecke, aka in German, Max Benecke, uh, won both of those races. Now, listen, uh, here's the information for you. You come on Nitro Nights, you start winning races. It happened to Chen Bullet Bassi, and it's happened to Max Benecke. So there it is. Uh, he started off in pole position uh, for the first race and won it. And in the second one, he started in third, but managed to win the race. Max Verstappen, and interestingly enough, Yannick finished in second place. Now, if you look at the leaderboard for that $200,000, currently Dane Warren is in first place, the Australian with 103 points. Then the United States man himself, Brian Lockwood, is in second place with 99 points. And then Joshua Rogers, the previous winner, has got 90 points. So there you go. The competition is hotting up there. Uh, where shall we head to now? How about what uh, has the kind of evolved into the most chaotic esports racing series there is at the moment oh of course that is of course the abb formula e race at home challenge in support of unicef round three and it was monaco uh it was the shunt that seemed to never end in lap one it, obviously it did end eventually but it was mighty chaotic it was absolute carnage however uh, pascal verline was in pole position and managed to keep it nice and clean and tidy for the rest of the race uh, just behind him was stoffel van dorn then max gunther and then yanni finishing in fourth place brendan hartley was also in the race he was a little bit sleep deprived because he was all the way in new zealand round four coming up and will uh, mr max gunther be able to hold on to that top spot only time will tell uh, where should we head to next how about the spot where you moonlight on the weekends? Oh, yes. Good place to go. Uh, this is the F1 Virtual Grand Prix. We headed to Spain, uh, to the circuit of Barcelona, Catalonia. And here's the thing. Uh, George Russell was in pole position after qualifying the fastest. However, uh, he dropped down the grid. He didn't want to be too aggressive uh, from the start, but got back into it. Got a three-second penalty. Why? Well, as you would have just seen there, for cutting the corner in the second part of the chicane. It seems to be a prominent thing that was happening. Everyone's asking, what are trials? track limits if it's if you're not giving them for there what was happening uh, people seem to be cutting the corner there even child o'clock which ended up meaning that george russell uh had a three second penalty and so did child o'clock in second which meant that george russell won the race it was pretty epic but this is what george russell had to say after winning i am feeling ecstatic i'm not used to this winning thing i've not done it for a long long time so i dearly missed it and um when i got past charles and i knew i had that three second penalty i was pretty furious but um when that radio message came in at the end <laughs> i think he had the three second penalty <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he later on went to say uh, he was that ecstatic, that excited. He was almost wetting his pants. Uh, the thing is, though, George Russell got penalized for it, but it was Charles Leclerc following the same driving line uh, of uh, George that ended up giving him that penalty. It's a big debate. But anyway, moving on, Alex Albon, interesting enough, had an interesting tire strategy for the race, pitting twice, whereas the other drivers seem to only pit once, staying on the hards. Um, listen, congratulations to George Russell. Uh, even a bit shout out Esteban Gutierrez finishing in third. Uh, now, for the pro exhibition that happened uh, just before the F1 Virtual Grand Prix, uh, it was all about the qualifying and the two teammates, Barry Bormorand and also uh, Danny Berezny, did a fantastic job finishing first and third in that. Freddie Rasmussen in second, 
But of course, that ice cold Freddie Rasmussen for the Red Bull getting across the line first and winning Barry in second, Nicholas Longui in third. So exciting stuff going on in the F1 Virtual Grand Prix and also the Pro Exhibition. Whew, there we go. Uh, Yannick, uh, where should we head to now? Are there any more titles, games coming out? Yeah, we've kind of had like clean cut racing on the show today. So let's make it dirty. Okay, good idea. Dirt 5. Codemasters have gone and done it again. They've brought this title out. It's focusing more on the off-road racing. Disciplines within the game uh, will include rallycross, uh, ice racing, uh, stadium trucks, and off-road uh, buggies. Players compete in events in a wide range of locations like Arizona, Brazil, China, Italy. And the game includes a dynamic weather system and seasons which affect the racing. Um, and also... This is quite cool. A four-player split-screen system is introduced into the game. Now, out of that, Yannick, rallycross, ice racing, stadium trucks, or off-road buggies, which one would you go for? Oh, it's got to be ice racing, man. On an icy lake, kicking the tail out, oh, got to be great. No, I always had you down as a icy, cold customer, Yannick. Uh, great stuff. Oh, by the way, Yannick, I found out uh, that in the Porsche uh, competition that's going on now, Max Beneke, he won both races at the weekend. It's his birthday today. Oh, should we sing for him? Oh, definitely. Here we go. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Max Bedeke. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Smashed it. Good, uh, man. Beautiful work. Thank you so much for joining me. Please, nobody clip that up. Thanks for joining me today, Yannick. Uh, let's get on with it. Stay tuned to watch the interview with Enzo Benito. Well, here he is, our guest for today on Nitro Nights. I promised him. And here he is, the one and only Mr. Enzo Benito. Enzo, great to have you on Nitro Nights. Hey guys, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Yeah, and, and we go way back in F1 Esports Pro Series, but I have to say, uh, Enzo, loving all the trophies that you've won in the background. Are they all yours? <laughs> no, sadly not, but we can make it look like they are mine, so uh, I'm fine with it, <laughs> if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, who's, whose trophies are they then? Uh, this is uh, my teammate trophies, uh, Amos. He's been uh, working out for them uh, a lot, so it's uh, it's good that we show we show them a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and and I tell you what, you, you've recently moved uh, from McLaren to uh, FDA Hublot Esports Ferrari. You're amongst winners now. Uh, how are you feeling about that change? Uh, it's it's a crazy it's a crazy moment in life for me. I mean, it's a huge motivation because. Um, uh, you know, new team, uh, new people around you, a new teammate. Uh, um, it's something that helps me a lot as a, as a driver for for some reasons because um, you know you want to perform well for your new team. That's one of the main reasons. But also, it's a Ferrari, so uh, you know, uh, I'm, as an Italian, is is a true honor. Uh, nothing to. Uh, I mean, in McLaren, it was uh, it was uh, it's been it's been a great journey for me. Uh, also having Bono as a teammate, you know, I've been knowing him for years. But uh, at the end, especially in the last year, I felt like I was losing a little bit of motivation. You know, um, I wasn't really looking for that win that I really was used to back in the years. So mm -hmm. I think with the, with the new team, um, I'm really I'm really ready for for pushing it. Oh well, this is this is good to hear. I mean, because I, I've I've read a quote from you which says. If everything seems under control, you are just not going fast enough. Uh, and sometimes when you feel like life, you're in control of everything, you need to push yourself, challenge. And um, has it been a challenge? Because I look at your record, the iRacing GT3 season winner, uh, Porsche, uh, E Carrera Cup. I mean, the list goes on uh, of, of wins you've had. Do you feel like you're getting that challenge now? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as a, uh, also David is my teammate and he's a world champion now. So uh, to 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 try and stay behind him or even try to stay ahead of him, that's that's something in my mind that really, uh, really it's it's set right here and I can't get out of it. Uh, it's like uh, um, ready for 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 this year. Um, but yeah, I mean. Um, um and last couple of years it's been a little bit tough for me uh but no this year it's it's uh, I'm, on, uh, I'm on i'm on i'm on ready yes yeah and i have to say because i mentioned it in the news flash on today's show about the f1 esports pro exhibition and it's kind of um there's no points at stake there's no uh, uh 
it's 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 driving for fun and for entertainment but you guys are really pushing yourselves there's there's hundreds of seconds between you guys thousands of seconds that there's nothing in it what was the competition like for you on sunday um we had uh, uh, another race on sunday also uh, so we didn't prepare as much as we would have loved to but uh, yeah it was just one hour before the the, the f1 esports race the pro exhibition so uh, um, <clears throat> we, it didn't go uh, as best uh, as uh, as as bad as as good as we thought. But uh, no, we, we could not expect much from it. Uh, we started outside the top ten and finished outside the top ten. But uh, but even then, David, I think did uh, did a lap time which was one ten uh, or two tenths, I think, from from the pole position, and it was in P eleven. So um, yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, if we if we if we if we think about the week before in Brazil, where uh, from P one to P fifteen was like two and a half tenths, um, yeah. it's like you have to hit your PB in a quali in order to almost your PB in the quali run in three laps in seven eighteen minutes in order to like score a pole position or something like that. So it's uh, the nerves when you when you try and and do that. It's uh, it's it's really difficult. But but I guess it's 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 a really competitive time, and that 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 brings out the best in you. Um, I, I have to ask uh, about uh, Ferrari uh, in terms of how do they support you as a driver? Uh, it's we have a house this year. It's something that I, I never had before. Uh, well, we had uh, um, um, I had just a, a small um, regroup with the team in the years before to 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 prepare like a few days, a couple of days before the race. But now this year, uh, we have a house for the full year. So right now, this is our house. We have three rooms here for me, David, and, and Amos. Uh, and yeah, we have uh, all the simulators, everything here. They they support us with, with everything we, we ask for. Um, and yeah, we, we train here already, you know, for those, uh, for those exhibition races on the Sunday, even if it's not a championship. We still train for it like it's a, it's a true championship in the end. Because uh, you know, you you it's it's uh, it's um, it's an important race that goes live to to like millions of people, let's say, and and you you, you want to, to perform as good as a, as a, as a, yeah. as, a, as the pro series, yeah, in front of, course, of in front of everyone, yeah, and but, uh, yeah, sorry, but I was <laughs> no, I was just gonna say that that's a great setup. You're given that support. Um, I have to just ask, this is a fun question, really. Um, but when they when you signed uh, for Ferrari, did they send you a box full of merchandise, the top, the hat? Did it all come through? Were you like a, a kid again well, getting that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't wait for my for, for my first T-shirt or uh, or the, <laughs> the the jacket. The jacket looks awesome. I can't wait to wear it this year in the in the in the actual uh, pro series. Because uh, I mean, it's something. Even when you walk around the, the scenario of the pro series with the red jacket, it's like, you know, it's like no no other feelings. So so yeah, yeah. I'm, Very I, happy and I've got to ask. Yeah, so you've got Amos uh, as teammate, uh, David Tunitsa. We 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 know uh, in terms of winning the title last year, the championship. Uh, are you in touch with the other? Ferrari drivers at the moment that are all in the sim world. Arthur Leclerc is winning in F2, uh, the virtual um, Grand Prix there. And, and then you've got Charles Leclerc, uh, Dino Boganovic, you've got uh, Callum Ilo. Are you in con um, contact with those drivers? Yes, absolutely. They train with us just like we train for the, 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 pro, the pro exhibition races. Uh, they do the uh, some of them uh, do the virtual Grand Prix uh, races on the Sunday just, just after all race. And you know all the dri Ferrari driver academies walk between each other for each race, but uh, I'm 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 so I'm absolutely um, surprised about how they can um, um, how they can translate so well from the real world to, to the simulator because some of them uh, literally just drive the simulator at home uh, mm -hmm. since since these races, and so the fact that you can see them. Uh, because their lap time is not so so far from from our lap times, which and we are esports drivers, so it's our job, and it's kind of scary yeah. to think that they are only like half a second uh, slower sometimes on some of the track, like Charles was, and yeah, yeah they, they've been preparing a lot, obviously, because you know we start from ten a.m. 
Then from mid, uh, midday, then we have a small break. And then we start again from 14 to, to 18 p.m. And they are right there with us in, in a Discord channel, for example. And they, they, they stick with us and they do all the little bits of training with us. And, uh, and that's a, something really important. Uh, we have our coach, which is uh, Stefan, which is helping us uh, a lot. Amos also is coaching them a lot. Uh, it's, it's really good. And uh, yeah, when they ask us something, obviously, uh, we, we prepare. Uh, me and David also, we, we, prepare, uh, we prepare for them as, as best as we could. But it's, uh, it's also it's an honor to, to train with them because, you know, uh, real Formula 2 drivers, F1 drivers, you name them, uh, F3. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's great to have that, that rhythm together of a, of a, of a Ferrari mm. team. It's amazing. Yes, it definitely feels like a family. Uh, yes, I, I, from what you're saying. Um, do, do you think though, because you know, I host the F1 Virtual Grand Prix, and before we were gearing up before COVID nineteen to be having the F1 Esports Pro Series, and you would have been on TV. So, do you kind of, I, I guess, the right thing to to the phrase? Do you feel a little bit like you'd like a bit more airtime on TV? <laughs> Is basically what I'm trying uh, to say. Yes, yes, because. <laughs> Uh, it's you know you you always want to be on TV, but not when you're in in, in the last positions, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, it's it's um, it's amazing what is happening to the sim world because uh, we're getting treated like it's it does, those races are actually the real racer because well actually they are uh, for for a short amount of time they are uh, getting treated like they, those are the real races because. Uh, you know, as fortunately as the situation right now with the COVID nineteen in the world is, uh, it's not possible to to for the people to to go around and watch a race or even to the drivers to to drive cars. You know, it's very dangerous. It's it's not uh, it's not the best idea in the world. But uh, yeah, it's um, it's amazing to see how um, everyone right now motorsport. We can say motorsport in these last couple of months is literally sim race. Mm. It's sim yeah. racing. Uh, sim racing took over motorsport right now, so it's uh, it's great to uh, to see it for for uh, both drivers that are actually can compete, real drivers. I mean that can compete, and also us as an esports driver that we get um, we get um, we get the attention on TV, as you said, and also uh, to see it grow as 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 we all love to to see. Yeah. Um, now, bearing that in mind. <clears throat> Once this pandemic uh, gets controlled uh, and, and we're able to have more races again and actual real life racing, would you still like to see the the F1 drivers and the F1 esports more connected? You say it's like a family now. Would you still? Would you like to see that afterwards, st keeping connected? I think you know what. I think it's gonna happen because uh, now that so many people discover the same world. They are really liking it, I think, and because all the drivers, all the Ferrari drivers that I speak to, and all the drivers that I train with, uh, they they are really they are really enjoying their time driving the simulator, and they really really love it. So mm. I think as um, some of the drivers already do, after maybe a race weekend, they they get home and they start driving the simulator immediately because they are really <laughs> missing that feeling of driving a car. So yeah. I think it's going to happen uh, a lot more. A lot. And yes, I would love to see something like maybe uh, a combined series with uh, the pros and the, as a teammate, maybe, you know, one uh, uh, real F1 driver and one eSport driver as a teammate and, uh, and make it like maybe a, a team championship uh, uh, like, uh, like the pro series. Uh, yeah. would be, would be really, would be really awesome to see. Yes. Cause, cause I'm, I, it, just made me remember the moment when you were racing uh, Peter Solberg uh, and, and you were racing him, the rally, rally cross driver, world champion 2013. Um, has he been in touch with you to get some extra sim racing tips? <laughs> no, I haven't heard from him, sadly. I would, I would have loved to because, I mean, he's been, uh, that, was, that year was the first time I was jumping into a real car. Literally yeah. the first time, a racing car. And the fact that he helped me so much, not, no, not even knowing me, uh, and probably not even, I think, not even knowing much the same word back in the day. Uh, yeah. The fact that he was believing in me that much, it's crazy because he gave me so many tips back in, uh, in, in those days in Riyadh. 
that uh, I mean, I could never thank him enough, I think. And uh, yeah, I see he's, he's been doing also a simulator, but uh, no, sadly, I haven't got the, the luck to, to speak with him um, yet. <laughs> About. But yeah, it would be awesome to, yeah. to race with him, maybe on dirt rally or some or some other simulators. I mean, what would be really interesting to see and, and drive with him. Yes, I bet it would. Um, a, a quick uh, thoughts on what would you like to see in the F1 2020 game uh, that you could then uh, uh, sort of excel in? Uh, well, what would you like to see when it comes out? Um, I mean. Um, I would love to, you know, it's, I, I've been founding very hard in the lately, not lately in the years that I've been driving F1, uh, the F1, uh, games, uh, I've been, uh, I've been finding myself very hard trying to, to switch so many buttons while driving. Uh, yeah. it's really something that it requires a lot of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, mental concentration. It, it's crazy because you have to switch like probably eight buttons every corner in a corner while exiting the corner or entering the corner you know uh, uh but uh with ers management especially so hopefully this year is a little bit uh, like the real f1 uh, where you don't have to do all the works with your fingers but maybe something in in the setup that uh, can uh, can do can do it automatically for you you know especially like i want the ers to be set up like that in, in that specific corner, you can do it in the in the in the setup menu. Uh, that would be great because yeah, yeah because uh, I think that's the only the only the only real change I would like to see because um, uh, I'm a driver that uh, can't really uh, change uh, things on the steering wheel while driving. I, I lose focus, so, uh, okay. so that that would that would help me a lot. I, I would love to see that. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is a good improvement. Uh, I have no sway. I can't ask Codemasters, but fingers crossed. My fingers are crossed for you, uh, Enzo. Uh, but listen, uh, what I am hopeful is that you pass the quick fire question round. Are you ready for the quick fire questions? Oh, yes, I'm all ready. Look, I'm going to set in a, okay. in a nice position. In a nice position. And yeah. All right. And you don't have to press multiple buttons here, so you can just relax. Okay, I'm starting the time. <laughs> Now, is red your new favorite color? It's always been. <laughs> highlight of your career so far? Um, highlight of my career uh, starting was uh, not, not, not the best, but I think I'm going to end in, in the best way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> favorite track to race on? Spa. Driving oh, right. idol as a kid? Ayrton Senna. Oh, good choice. Uh, best driver teammate? Oh, Gregor Hutu. Gregor Hutu. Okay. Well, Amos, I know he's in that room with you now, so uh, hopefully he's not too upset uh, yeah. by that. He's, he's <laughs> fine behind the door. He's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to say it. And... <laughs> uh, is determination still your strongest weapon when you drive? Yes, absolutely. Determination is, is the key. Uh, beating Ryan Hunter, the IndyCar man, or Luca Degrassi? Luca Degrassi. <laughs> Favorite snack before a race? Um, ooh. Um, favorite snack? Um, I guess a bounty? I don't know. <laughs> ooh, coconut. That's controversial. <laughs> In my house, it's always the last chocolate left in that box. <laughs> no. <laughs> always. Uh, skill you have learned during COVID-19 about yourself? Uh, to, to, to be a, a lot more respect to, respectful to, to the other people, definitely. Uh, when was the last time you had your hair cut? Uh, actually, my girlfriend cut my hair a couple of weeks ago, so I'm very lucky right now. He, she can't do much because obviously she can she she doesn't it's not her job but uh, it's 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 an improvement trust me you 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 will not not interview me with with your hairs i had before <laughs> uh, my girlfriend uh, cut my hair as well uh, she watched two youtube videos that was it uh, and finally enzo most famous person you have on your phone oh um whew. david tonitza <laughs> lovely answer uh perfect uh listen uh that is the quick fire questions done um you can relax a little bit now uh while i ask you your next question 
Enzo. Uh, now you mentioned about different races, uh, looking at the competitions you've won. Uh, what are you enjoying at the moment? Are you getting behind a GT car or getting in a GT car or, or the F1 car? What are you enjoying most at the moment with your driving? Uh, you know, it's it's awesome when you when you are training for the the pro series. But since January, from January to to something like May, it's um, it's it's good for me not not to to over focus on, on the game too much because then from June uh, we're gonna start again uh, every day full yeah. day you know so the mental the mental pressure is a lot you know uh, and you want to rest a little bit in those in those months uh, so enjoying some 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 GT cars some GT competitions uh, you know something different that even. Uh, because it's different, it's gonna make you miss that feeling of of the pro series. So then you come back even stronger in the end. You know, so yeah. that's that's the real thing. So you're you're saying that that is an advantage to be in several different races because it it makes you miss the one before and then exactly. you can't wait to get back. Exactly. Yes. Absolutely. That's the that's that's the, that's what I've been uh, I've been using as a key, and um, I think it, it works a lot because I'm already missing the. Uh, the, the the fact that we we you know we are on the stage all the drivers uh, you know the, the the feeling of of uh, uh, going up the stairs to your rig uh, yeah you know I, I I miss it a lot and also um, I miss uh, I, I have to be honest I really miss I really miss the, this uh, this training days I can't wait to start again yeah um, did, did do you think it helped you with the uh, Porsche Carrera Cup being able to to have a discipline in, in, in other um, formats of, of racing? Uh, yes, it, it's, 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 uh, it's helping me a lot. Also because, you know, um, it's a different simulator. So also different people around you, different competitors. So it's like, it's like a switch in your mind. Even if it's a simulator, you're still training on a simulator. But it's mm. a completely different competition, completely different people, uh, completely different people, uh, drivers that, that, that drive into it. So it's uh, it's a switch for me in my mind, and uh, uh, I have I have to do it, uh, and I think it's a good uh, it's also it's also a good training. Yeah, how do you stay fresh? People who are watching Nitro Nights, are, are sim racers themselves, how do you keep it fresh? How do you keep that motivation going? when you're looking at small margins that you're trying to improve? I think this, this can answer for, for all the drivers. I mean, you want to see your name in the first position always, you know, yeah. sometimes uh, you feel like you are in, in a podium, even in a third place and you're like, ah, but I would, I want to win. I want to win, you know? Yeah. So, so that thing of seeing that your name in the first place always gives you that motivation always. Or even when you want to hit that specific lap times and you're not able to, sometimes you like uh, stay stay up until very late in the night because you want to yeah. achieve that that you know, and then you you can sleep uh, with a smile on your face because you think, oh yes, that 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 lap felt beautiful, you know, something like that. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's something that drivers, everyone, real drivers, sim sim drivers, everyone. Everyone has it. Everyone that is so passionate about this, about the motorsport world, it's it's um, have it really. Yeah. Um. And, and just finally, uh, Enzo, just to ask you about. Obviously, you're you're in the sim racing world. You're in the FD Hublot Esports uh, environment. You've you're now in a family, but you going forward. This is really about you, Enzo. Would you like to continue to to be the best in the sim world? Or would you quite like a few more opportunities in the real life racing? This is a tough question. I mean, I always said if if I do real races, I will never I will never leave the sim world because I started with the sim world. It's I grew up with the sim world. The sim world, mm. uh, like uh, it's like taught. Um, I learned everything from it. Like my driving style comes from from the simulator. So it was a teacher for me. The simulator is my teacher. And um, I think I would, um, I would love to, to drive real cars. I mean, in the end, um, that's the adrenaline, 
that gives that the real car gives you it's it's unfortunately it's not uh uh the simulator can can't really do much about it but um if 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 i was a, a real driver even i think after a, a race weekend i will fly straight home and turn on my pc and there we go yeah. again i mean that's that's what i will do so uh so basically I, th I think what i take from that enzo yeah you'd like to do some more real life races but you'll never leave the sim world so uh, exactly. uh perfect man well listen i think that's a a perfect way to end our, our, our chat today um i hope you've enjoyed being part of nitro nights so I, I thank you very much for coming on uh, it's it's been an absolute a pleasure a pleasure for me man i i i can't wait to to also see you tom on uh, on on the, on the process this year and uh, yeah i hope yeah. you guys enjoy it and uh, yeah hopefully we can all uh, shake hands in the real world soon yeah, fingers crossed, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Well, listen, um, Enzo Benito, what a pleasure to have you on the show. And, and for you guys, uh, uh, quite a big announcement. Uh, this is our last online show. Uh, so instead, uh, this is really exciting, actually. Uh, Nitro Nights are moving to a brand new studio. Uh, so that is all to look forward to. Um, to make sure you don't miss any of the announcements, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Nitro Nights. And then you can stay up to date with all the latest. And you can find out when the show is going to be happening from the studio but um but listen guys i'm really excited about everything we've had some amazing guests on so make sure you go back and watch them and i'll let enzo now uh, apologize uh, to his teammate that's in the same room uh, amos and say that he's his second favorite driving partner <laughs> <laughs> no I mean, listen, man. He's, he's crying in the bathroom already so i need to go and, and i say sorry to him <laughs> Listen, uh, an absolute pleasure. Enzo, thank you very much. And to everyone, uh, make sure that you do follow uh, Nitro Notes on Twitter. Uh, stay safe and see you soon. Bye.